Okay, and you are? I'm Dennis Morgan. M-O-R-G-A-N? That's correct. And what's your role? I'm the director of Lakeville Operations for Desk Case AMS Filtration. Okay, so you've got an interesting gadget here. Tell me what it does. This is a industrial vacuum dehydration machine. It is uh, what we typically refer to as a medium vacuum machine, and its purpose is for removing water from industrial oils, applications like uh, turbine oil applications, uh, lube oil in uh, paper mills, uh, morgue oil in steel mills, most any application that has a high constant ingress of water, this unit is designed for pulling the water out of it. A couple things that uh, are really important uh, when you're looking at this machine, there's two keys to a high quality vacuum dehydration machine. The first one is the pump down here. It's important to have a high quality pump that will pull low enough pressure to allow for efficient removal of the water inside of the chamber. And uh, so a system like this that has a vacuum pump capable of reaching about 29 and a quarter inches of mercury on the vacuum gauge is really essential to high quality. And the second and probably equally important component that is very important for the efficiency on one of these is the dispersant media. And you can see inside this chamber there's a couple of baskets in there. They're filled with these pieces right here. They're called saddle rings. And what saddle rings do is allow us to have a tremendous amount of surface area in a very small compact space. So for example, this system here has about 65 square feet of surface area in just a one by one by three foot uh, cubic foot area. So it gives us a lot of surface area for the system to work very efficiently. This is a, um, uh, this permanent dispersion media is what that's called. The advantage of that permanent dispersion media, aside from the large surface area, is it doesn't have to be cleaned. So the operator doesn't have to get inside this chamber, remove those baskets, clean that material, or replace any elements in there. These units won't plug up with the debris that might come through the system. This is a unit that... So is this just a demonstration unit so you have these portals where people could see it and in practicality it would not have these or... No, that's a great question. No, these, this is an actual functioning unit. These portals are always on the units so that the customer can see what's going on inside. It's really important for the operators to be able to view what's happening in here. To not only see what the oil level is down here in the bottom, but also to see the actual of the water being removed from the oil because the action, what actually happens when the water is extracted from the oil, it causes the oil to foam. It's important that the operator is able to see that action in this upper view window. So yeah, great question. These windows always come in these kind of a chamber. And what other uh, capabilities? You've got pressure gauges. Yeah, these, uh, a vacuum system like this We'll also have particle filtration. So we're looking here, we've got, this is a filter change pressure differential gauge. It's important for the operator, allows the operator to know with certainty that the particle filter on the outlet of this unit is in need of being changed. We also have a pump pressure gauge here, and this is our vacuum gauge so that the operator can monitor what the vacuum level is inside of the chamber. We also, on the vapor loop, which is the, uh, the loop where the water is actually extracted, we do put on a water blocking breather so that they're not drawing moisture into the chamber from the outside air as well as blocking out any particles uh, from, the, from the environment that might be able to get into the system. Another key feature of this unit is down here below. You'll notice that both on the inlet and the outlet there are solenoid valves that when this unit is without power or it shuts down, these solenoid valves, which are normally closed solenoid valves, will close down and isolate this system from the reservoir. So in the event of something happening that we never want to see happen, but it's always possible, this unit will isolate itself from the reservoir so that there's not a catastrophic failure for on the system being serviced.